We're just going. Go! <laughs> okay, thank you. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Kimball's Corner. As you can see, we're going to be using the Jane Davenport layer cake Jane paint. Jane Davenport layer cake paint. It's very similar to gouache. similar to... Okay, I'll stop. Gouache. gouache. All right. Um, I do have some colored pencils pulled out. These are the Prismacolor Premieres. I don't know why I was feeling like drawing slash painting Snow White. Because why not? I Even guess. though we agreed on Esmeralda earlier. We didn't. Well, I was like excited. I was like, yeah, that'll be fun to do Esmeralda. But I was like, I just drew Yara Floor. And it's like, they kind of have similar skin tones, similar hair, similar, like a lot of similar. Now life makes sense. So I understand that. I could have just, you know, they look too similar to do a painting right now. Anyway. Jenna says, hey guys. Oh, hey, Jenna. And thanks for joining. And BD Lion says, hey, y'all. And Luis Brown says, heart, 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 I'm going to start with a circle. Heart, heart, heart. I was going to, I know, I forgot to ask everybody. You keep your mouth shut. I don't know what you're doing, but you've got a look on your face. I'm just observing. Observe in silence. Hey, can I make facial expressions? I'm not sure yet. Okay, go ahead. No, I just want to say last week I forgot to ask if we wanted to do stencils or <laughs> nice face stencils or stamps or something similar this week. And so I just, you know, that's me. I forget things. So if you want to do something next week, let me know. There's like coloring books, stencils, stamps. Trisha and Elaine say hi. Hi. Trisha says hello, Kimball, Rocky, Jenna, and everyone. Hello to you too. Mm. So what's I, a snack? I'm going to talk about the snack because I won't be able to paint if I don't. That's right. It is the Arosa Belgian pralines. I say pralines, but I've heard British people say praline. pralines. Pr Are you thinking prawn chips? N ew, no. <laughs> Although I haven't had them, so I can't say you, but they just don't Yes, you have. It. Okay. Oh, yeah, I did have them. Yeah, oh, my God, so good. Oh, my God. So good. Like, they they sound gross, I but they're really good. more than my share. Yes, you did. Um, anyway, do you say praline or praline? Oh, God. Bonnie was a minute late. Uh, Bonnie. But she you... formally apologizes. Bon Bon, you're out. Okay. Just kidding. You're in. Obviously. Speaking of Bon Bons, that's well, what I'm eating. Well, yeah. not really Bon Bons. I know. Right? Rocky's like, I don't really like candy. So he grabs two tea cakes. Like, Well, that's beyond candy. Okay. That's well, deliciousness. I don't know if this actually comes undone. This looks like uh, a Valentine's Day gift that you're Oh, opening. it was stitched. Whatever. Listen, ruined the boat. I yeah. would cut it with my scissors, but they're at somebody's work still. Mm. I'm not sure what these are. Trisha I, says praline. Praline? I say praline. Anyway, it doesn't Pray. matter. <gasps> they're little truffles. All for me, because Rocky's like, I want tea cakes. So you enjoy your tea We all cakes. choose our calories, don't we? Oh, I do have. I don't want to throw this away. This is important. Give it to me. Mm. I don't want to be anything. Hear how good that's going to be as I open that. It's tinfoil. Did you ever chew on tinfoil as a kid and like get a little electric? Blah, 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 no, energy? but I did like chew on it just to like see what it was like, and it was you know medley. That's um. Also, why did people lick batteries? I remember as a kid, my you've been hanging out because I was the youngest of six, and they were like, "Here, Kimball, lick this battery." The little square ones, and they have like the two ends. Oh my god! A nine volt. Rude. So rude. Um, I'm gonna start with a milk caramel ganache. Sounds like a good time to me. Latte. It looks like lemon, though. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Very good. Look at the delicious marshmallow filling. Okay, go on, Kimball. Art! Art, mm. hurry! I'm eating. So, I love to incorporate circles. No surprise. If you've seen my work. So Why do you think you like circles? I don't know. Probably because I like to do squares on top of them. But it's fun to just have a shape to work with. Trisha, you still like batteries too. <laughs> that explains it. I mean, did you do it for fun or you're like, is this one dead? No, we're good. And my sister says, hey, little brothers. Um, Hello, happy. Wait, who's little sister? My sister is writing. Your sister. Yes. I thought you said my little sister. And I was like, oh, wait, that's not. No, no, no. My sister wrote. She said, hey, little happy brothers. Birthday. Happy hey. birthday to you. To you. Happy birthday to you. To you. Happy birthday, hey, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Oh. You're welcome. That's all you get. 
So, Snow White. <laughs> I'm all, <laughs> and anyway, back to me. <laughs> Celebration's over. Um, I was going to try and draw, like, the different parts of her body with, like, coordinating skin tones. But it doesn't really matter because the paint can cover it up. Wow, you really put some thought into this. In the last five minutes. <laughs> well, I expect nothing less from my Kimball. <laughs> That's me. Oh my the gosh. peak of planning. We were talking to some tax people because we have like a weird tax situation this year or next year or whatever it is. How it's it our lives, really. Basically, yeah. And they, I forgot I was going with this. They, uh, well, they were very obsessed with your artwork and well, they, they, they were trying to channel down. So they might be watching right now. Hey, hey, hey. Well, they were trying to encourage me to like do it as work because then I can get discounts on like or tax breaks on some of the. And I just started and laughing. I was like, oh, no. <laughs> Like, no, 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 that's not gonna happen. If you say work and artwork, it's not gonna be anything. All right, I think I might try drawing her in the similar pose, which isn't much. She's just kind of looking at the camera with, with a touch of side eye. Um, what has that... happened to Snow White today in this drawing? Like, what has she been through? Well, what's her character art? She farted and a little bit came out. And who was watching? Sneezy. <laughs> <laughs> I was uh, like, I won't tell if you won't. I don't know why I just ate this weird. Well, I just ate this delicious tea cake. From Sk Ow! I think I know that one. It was so good. Mm. It tastes like a fluffy marshmallow. Well, as long as it's not like that broccoli fart chocolate you had the other day, I don't even know what the hell that was. Where was that from? Fortnum and Mason. Fortnum and Mason, the most beautiful store in the world, mm -hmm. selling broccoli fart chocolate. No one knows why. So there's but the we skull. Paid cream for it. Okay, go ahead. There's her skull. And then we drop it down. Mm hmm Got her little cheekies in. I don't know if I'll make her at well. I might make her a little cute. She has a cute little round face. I mean, she's she's youthful. She's still got her little baby fat. Maybe it's been a hard winter. <laughs> Reminds me of Grace. You're, <laughs> oh, I can't show you, but your body's built more like... <laughs> she does like the husky, like, carrying two buckets of water over a branch over her shoulders. Oh, um, anyway. And um, for those of you who are like, what the hell is he talking about? He's talking about Will and Grace. <laughs> <laughs> they know. We have to remember that they don't understand our inside jokes. Not all of them. Mm! Look at me. I'm drawing out where facial features go. Will I stick to it? I doubt it. I never really do. Kimball was like, should I use a stencil or not today? I was like, no. He's like, well, it's supposed to be like stencil day. I was like, oh, then definitely use it. He's like, I don't want to. Oh, I was like, make it a stencil. You told me not to. Her eyes look surprised, but I'm going to try and just draw them big and round and not so surprised. Wait, Kimball. Yes, my love. What is on your list of What's discussion on my topics list today? today? Let's start from the top. That's if you go to silence your alarm. Sorry about that. Don't hit snooze. Uh, hey, we're doing a live right out now. Out of habit. Uh, the first thing was we built a lot more furniture this week. Okay, go ahead. Um, we went into Rocky's work. I mean, I may as well start clocking in by this at this point. Like, no, no, you don't get paid. That's true. Um, and what do I built a couple shelves? Then we built some shelves together, drawers. Rocky did a lot of stuff while I wasn't there. Like the kitchen is pretty much done. Just need to place the refrigerator and have it built in. So that's exciting. Yes, I'm so excited. But there's a lot of like all this. Well, we might get another desk, but like a lot of the storage shelves are done. And yeah. with that, it meant I could actually finally start shopping for all the things that need to fill all the drawers. Which leads us to what we did yesterday. So, oh my God. We went shopping. First off, <laughs> first off, not using this for about a month. Why did we do it all in one day? Well, the bulk of it in one day. Well, I don't know. We're taking a vacation on the 15th of this month. So we need to get it done before then. You say we, but like my life is a vacation. Anyway, so we, okay. So yesterday, very early in the morning, we got up, decided we were going to do shopping today. Kimball so graciously decided to help me because, you know, it's shopping. So why say no? Mm -hmm. So we went to all the little places around here. We went to like Home Sense. We went to Dunelm, loaded up my entire car full of stuff from those two places, had to drive it to work to unfill it. And then Kimball was nice enough to go to Ikea with me. At which point we filled up two carts oh, oh plus giant blue bags hanging off the side of the cart full of props. Now I just want to I just want to point out we went through an entire kitchen build, built every single piece of furniture in the space. No issues at all with our bodies. Yesterday, 
shopping, our backs decided to go out. I was like, wh- why Why now? Why? Like, we're just <laughs> shopping for props. Like, what's happening? Well, so yeah. it was a cart full of glass bowls and glass plates and I glass got, cups and I mugs. And... That can't be it. No. I think it's more like an allergic reaction to something. It was definitely a core workout, pushing that cart around. But we did go to Starbucks because the one in our neighborhood just opened, y'all. And oh my God. you know life's good when the Starbucks opens. And I ordered an iced latte. Oh, my God. And what <laughs> wait, did wait, I wait, get? Wait, wait, wait. So I was like, Rocky, it's new. Make it easy on him. I literally just ordered a latte. And like, I was like, special. may I have a decaf oat milk sugar-free vanilla latte with just two pumps of sugar-free vanilla? Thanks. And she's Well, like, and then at the end, he's all and iced. Yeah, so I said an ice, please. Like so at the end. Yeah. I see the guy making my drink. He makes a hot drink and literally takes a single ice cube and puts it in and hands me the drink. And I just like laughed and walked out. <laughs> and then on the sticker, it says one ice. <laughs> I mean, she wasn't totally wrong. Yeah. But anyway. I left. I was like, Rocky, she's new. Take it easy now. <clears throat> my sister has said, y'all getting older. Well, she, she almost oh said Oprah or opera. I don't know. Um, Turn oh, I got to catch up on comments. I was talking so much. This is already old news for everyone in the chat, but FNAF Bonnie um, said it was a hard exam, but I got there in the end. Thank you for all the... Wait, what's happening? Oh, an update on the quiche exam she did. Finally defeated the quiche and passed her exam. Yay! Um, And my muffin and Victoria sponge cake exam. Yay! I think we're going to need to be the judge of that. So if you could just make up a couple more batches and just send them our way or we'll just meet up. Um, At Old Mystery Creek. (laughs) Jenna has a good question. Is Starbucks any different from here? Um, I don't believe they use the same syrups, but the coffee, I think, is the same. And they still kind of, like, get the orders wrong all the time. So, yeah, it's all pretty much the same. There's one Starbucks out in Long Crendon, which is, like, a little city out in the middle of the country here that we ended up going to when we were staying in an Airbnb. And they just don't mix their drinks. So, they just, like, they just put everything in and hand it to you so it kind of looks pretty. But you have to, like, shake it in your car, like, plug in the holes. I spilled mine all over myself (laughs) one time, and I was like, that is it. That's the end of that. I asked for a straw every time. I try to do it in front of them after they hand me the drink to make it like obvious that like if you could just mix up the damn drinks, that'd be nice. Like stare at them while it's you very do passive, it. but still. Yeah. First world problems. Anyway, we have nothing but the best conversation. Well, this is our life. Oh, exciting news though. Our friend Bert had a baby. But well, his wife had a baby. They own the Thai restaurant. I'm very excited. Um, there's a there's, there's a running Jackson. joke happening that every time Kimmel and I go in, oh we bring some kind of drunkard with us because every time we're there, there's like some weird situation with like a tipsy person happening. And one day he's like, "This doesn't really happen a lot. It's just when you two are here." And I was, Rocky's like, "Well, Kimmel brings the drunks." <laughs> I was like, yes, I so we sat down. It's maybe been we were like chatting with him literally like five minutes of just catching up because like it was like us and two other people that were already eating there so whatever and th- this lady walks in she's like you got room for four five six five six five no there's six of us <laughs> okay we're gonna be loud we're going to the back bye and then like they go sit down and she's like i'll get a bottle of prosecco i'll get a bottle of prosecco what are you gonna have beer prosecco i was like oh my god <laughs> <laughs> and then like what was it maybe not even another five minutes Another lady walks in and she needed a table for three, I think. And she's like, I need a beer. <laughs> so then like, <laughs> he's like, she's he's like, basically is running a bar. Right. Yeah. So then he, I mean, it's a Thai place. So he gave her a Thai beer, but I was just like laughing. Everyone just came and started ordering drinks. I was like, well, we're done. Minerva was asking, how is the Thai food there? Uh, the two, there are two, maybe three places that we knew that it's like, it's amazing. Yeah. It's definitely and the best Thai food I've ever had. I mean, it's made by like the one local to us, like they're, he, Bert is half English, half Thai, and his wife is full mm-hmm. Thai, and she's the chef there. And oh my god, it's so good! It's unbelievable. It can't be good for you. There's no way. <laughs> well, it depends what you order. I like Grapau Guy, and I also like um, I don't know what it's called, but it's the crispy pork belly with fried ri- like egg fried rice. It is so good. Anyway, do you guys have a favorite coffee shop you go to? No matter where you're at, where, where's your go to? What do you where do you go? We do have a favorite local coffee shop. We only go to Starbucks usually when we travel. Yeah. We have, we... There's actually, there's quite a few good food places here, honestly. Yeah, we're, we're pretty lucky with the food choices. You know, we've eaten everywhere we possibly can, <laughs> so we should know where the good places are at this point. I feel like we've only been here for a couple months, and we know, like, everywhere we go <laughs> at this point. We should run a travel vlog. Like, the also, yeah, the Vietnamese place is really, really good. Mm-hmm. We haven't tried the, is it Sri Lankan food? We haven't tried that. 
I know. Why haven't we done that yet? I don't know. I don't even know what is Sri Lankan food. I am not familiar. Oh my god, let's Google it or just go eat it. So I know she has black hair, but I don't really like using black in my artwork. It may build up to that, but I'm going to go with this nice dioxazine purple hue. Oh, that is such a sexy color. Can you say it again for me? Dioxazine purple hue. Oh. Um, FNF Bonnie says, Rocky Kimball, do you guys have a Discord account? If so, I can send you photos of the final product of my exam if you would like. Uh, do not. I don't even know what Discord is. I've heard of it. No, I don't do anything. Am I showing my age? I try to not do anything more than like three social media things. Can you just describe it to I'm us? All, is it as describe it to thing? us in the comments? Um, all right, so her hair. Let me see if I miss any other comments up here. I'm going to flip her hair out a little bit because she's fancier in my drawing. Oh, she fancy. She look fancy. at that. Okay, she floofed out. Now it doesn't even look like her, but I don't care. Do you think she up. gets agitated when she's like doing her hair every morning because she doesn't have a mirror? She has birds. Oh, do the birds do it for her? Animals do everything for her. All do they themselves. also like pluck her eyebrows and all that? Probably. This is before like threading. Oh my God. I think there's a place at the mall near her where the birds just do it for her. Well, she'd probably get like Doc to do it. Kim and I used to see people doing threading at the mall, and it's like they're right in like right off the main aisle where people are just walking. Kimball's like, I could never just lay there and let someone do something like that to me while even I'm with, watching. Even with like the bar, there's a lot of barbers here, by the way. But even with the barbers, like I can't just like sit front and center in a window like I'm on display. Like, look at me get my hair cut. Look at that. And when Kimball says there's a lot of barbers, there's like more barbers than there are coffee shops. Like it's yeah, literally it's... there's one corner where there's five all next to each other. And it's like they all learned how to do the same haircut. So it's done very well, but it's overdone in my non-professional opinion. <laughs> I'm a nervous sis. They use the eyebrow hairs in their nests. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> That's some thinking. But, you know, probably true. Are there songs in Snow White? It's not a musical. Why are we doing this? Are you serious? Is it? Hi-ho, here, off to work we go. Is that it? <laughs> no, wait, what's the one? That's, that is Sleeping Beauty. But no, it? what's the one where she's singing into the well? I don't I haven't know. seen it. In like, I don't know. I know. When when was the last time you watched Snow White? I think I was like maybe eight. Oh, no. I was probably like 35. Oh, okay. Well, were you, did you watch Snow White without me? She does a lot of, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's please, a lot of that going if on. Kimball, if you just be a little more Snow White, I think that'd be great. I can't quite hit the octave. She <laughs> does. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, wait, that's brown. What am I doing? She has like a brown cape, which I've never actually noticed. I mean, I know she wore a cape, but I never realized it was like dookie brown. Elaine says, I'm wishing with music notes. So I'm assuming there is a wishing well song. Yeah. And then it like starts talking back to her, which creeped me out. Oh, does it sing back to her? I mean, I what if it's it, like, well, she should do a whole an, side story of it. It's like her evil twin that she pushed down the well. Oh my God. It's an echo, I hope. Well, it's Disney. So we'll just say it is. You never know. So um, people were asking us to watch the Wednesday show about oh, Wednesday Adams. So we did start it. And I actually, freaking hate it. It's so stupid. Campbell is I'm um, like, totally in love with it. <laughs> <laughs> it's really good. I just didn't want everyone to like just know me so well. Yeah. yeah, it's awesome. We're only on the second episode, so no spoilers. I, I'm not a binger of anything when it comes to TV stuff. So those so... days are behind us. We used to do that a lot. No, not me. Him and his sister could watch like a whole season of Lost in one day. <laughs> And I'm like, I can't. I need a break. I need to process what I just watched, especially Lost. Oh, my God. Um, but also, it's like, I don't want to watch the whole thing in one day and then not have something fun to watch no, the next day. you just day. have to go to the next thing, Kimball. The, the next right thing. We binge watch Golden Girls. What's the difference? Yeah, but that's like got rewatchable. Okay. okay. <laughs> rewatchability. <laughs> We just watched the one where they got crashed on the like the little stranded island and they thought they were like lost, but then there was really like a resort right on the other side. And they were all yelling at each other anyway. We're riveting. <laughs> this is her cape, but my God, does it make it look like she has like big old broad shoulders? Like well, she's going to tackle you. She'll she's win. living in the middle of the woods. She has to fend for herself. Uh, I suppose. All right. She has brown eyes. We're almost to the layer cake session portion of this, whatever. We're just going to do that to freak everyone out for now. I want to see a version of Snow White where she has like rage moments where like, but she doesn't like remember them. She blacks out, but then oh she just goes God. into rages and like takes out villains, but then it like, comes back to the house. And it's like, oh, no, no. Nailed it. All right. I'm moving the pencils aside. 
Hold on, keep starting Wednesday. Oh my God. So I was like, what's this movie on Netflix? It's called Tootsies and the Fake. <laughs> and oh like, my gosh, you guys. So Kim and I like our Thai shows and like, and just basically any like foreign shows for the most part. Well, I don't know how we, and I don't know how we did not come across this movie and the series earlier, but it's yeah, it's called Tootsies and the Fake. Is the name of the movie. And then the TV show is called A Diary of a Tootsie. But if you watch the movie first, it is so so fun. Well, I don't know. It's right up our alley. Maybe people won't like it. Yeah, but... I don't know. I mean, the first five minutes, I was like, Rocky, we have to watch this movie. Well, it's amazing. A woman shits herself on the plane, all right? So, like, Listen, you can't give it away. I'm just saying, if you're into people pooping themselves on a plane, you should probably watch the series. She did not poo herself, Kay. Okay, Her well... poo went flying through the air. <laughs> but it was not poo. It you was won't like be seeing actual... bubbles. It... <laughs> that really sells it. Anyway... There was just so many oh moments. I was God. like, oh my gosh, I wish I could share this with the world. It's so funny. Just moistening them up a little bit. I'm going to put that um, on there. Minerva asks, what series have you rewatched the most? I think I watched Two Broke Girls the most in my life. I think probably just, Will and Grace. I've definitely oh, yeah. seen at least four times. Oh, Frasier. Frasier, I've seen at least three times. Hold on, just re-wetting this. Or not re-wetting, but wetting it down so that the uh, layer cakes can spread a little bit. I've watched Golden Girls twice all the way through and then just like bits and pieces. What else? She's very pale, but I want to make her peach touched by an angel. Okay. I've seen at least a couple episodes of that. Keeping up appearances. I've definitely seen that. IT crowd. Miranda. Oh, Miranda for sure. I've seen, yeah, we've seen that at least three times. I mean, it's not very long. The, uh, UK shows tend to be a little shorter seasons. Nerva was pointing out the um the Will and Grace Thanksgiving episode is the best. Agreed. Oh my god, it's so funny. Wait, what's the one with his girlfriend with Mira Servino? That's probably one of my favorite ones. Really? Yes. She comes and like she's all upset. And she gives her a bag. <laughs> pee 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 boo boo. Oh gosh. But I feel like there was something super funny on that one. Maybe there wasn't. BD Lion says Highway to Heaven. That's a good one. Oh my god. Is that one Michael Landon? Yeah. Yeah. Good old Michael. I hadn't really seen it too much until I was hanging out with my grandma and we watched a few episodes. I was like, oh, I should watch this. And I never really did. <laughs> but it's, it's really good. And after that, we'll binge watch Little House on the Prairie. Where they blow everything up. Spoiler. I mean, if you want to end a series, go out. With a bang. It was before Popular. Oh my god. There's a series called Popular. I think we, you've, you've talked, talked about, about it this. at least five okay, times well, in anyway, the past it ends, it ends with the main character running over another main character, and then the series ended. They thought it was going to be renewed. So that was the best like cliffhanger of an ending ah. of the series ever. Sorry, I'm throwing my paintbrush across the room. Make sure there's nothing gross on it. All right. I was going to add a little touch of red for the lips. Right now, I'm just kind of putting in loose colors, and then we'll tight. Well, like as it dries, we'll start tightening things up. Ooh, Fnapani says, random comment. I am now welcoming my actual pronouns as he, him, and my new name is Edward or Eddie, if you guys want to use a nickname. Ooh, I like Ooh. that. Eddie. Eddie. It's like the name of Fraser's puppy. <laughs> well, I mean. Um, Minerva says, the ending. Which ending? What I don't know. Oh, probably uh, popular. Mm. Right. Um, Jenna says Kimball is using layer cake paints with Jane Davenport snacks and Arosa Belgian chocolates. Kimball, how are those chocolates? They're very good. I've eaten half of the top layer. Mm. I would share with you, but you're all like, I want tea cakes. I already had two tea cakes and I'm feeling good. I still need to have dinner at some point. So remember when we were at Ikea and you're like, oh my God, I'm feeling nauseous. I want to get ice cream from McDonald's. <laughs> like who does that? I don't know. I just felt like if I had some ice cream, I would feel a lot better. And I was right. And then we went and the first McDonald's was like, we don't have ice cream. I literally, so we went to McDonald's and I was like, hey, can I uh -oh. please have um, an ice cream cone? She's like, our ice cream machine is down. No, it and I, she was just like, we don't have ice cream. And I literally couldn't even help myself. I was like, oh, my life. You're like like out British. loud. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure she was like, okay, calm down. Yeah. And uh, then we went to another McDonald's. I missed the exit and we had to drive like five miles out of the way. So that was fun. As you have to when you miss those roundabout turns. And Kimball so kindly pointed out, he's like, we could be like 10 minutes away from home if we just went. <laughs> I had fun. It was good times. And then I got a celebration McFlurry because oh, they don't yeah. have ice cream cones here, apparently. Or at least not at that one. And I didn't. I She's like, what kind of McFlurry do you want? I was like, whatever you want me to have. <laughs> You just she gave me the one like, with like okay. every possible kind of candy. And I was like, okay, thank you. And I was like, that's 
like it sounds good but also not Minerva says it sounds like first world problems oh it definitely was oh always um I mean it's nothing like trying to sign up for anything on any of the government sites here impossible i don't know if it's just us or what's happening but every time we try to do anything to like make any progress with stuff like ordering a recycling bin which has now been four and a half months yeah we went into the city council hall talked to them even they were having trouble they helping us get it. they called okay. for backup then they're like in two more days try signing in to do it so we do that it just takes us to a page that says it doesn't exist it's just error error page, i was like you know, you know like... what we'll just keep driving our crap to the dump i don't even care like at this that? point I mean, the, yeah, I mean, you would drive your crap to the dump. Like. Well, there you go. So her hair. Whenever it says, those paints are gorgeous. Thanks. They are Jane Davenport, obviously. These are the small ones. She has, like, really big ones, but I, like, I don't know. I've been playing with the smaller. They're called Bite Size Layer Cakes. Hearts Family Art says, OMG, hi, Kimmel and Rocky. Hi, hi, hi. Hi, hi, hi. Hi, hi, hi. Who is that? Is that Bo, Bo from AbFab? Oh, that's hi, another hi, one hi. we've watched a few times. Oh, yeah, definitely seen AbFab, too. I remember the first time I saw that, I was like 13, and my brother Jeff was showing me, and I was like, I am so confused by what's happening, but everyone else is laughing, so me too. <laughs> like, I was so confused. I was like, who are these people? Why are they so mean to Safi? Now I find it hilarious. Um, What else is on your list, by the way? Well, mm. oh, oh, I... I it's just kind of a random thing, but I've been finishing up a lot of my journals lately. Like this one has, I think, two pages left in it. I finished up the, actually, I think I have one page left in my Smooth Operator Orange journal. And I finished up, I don't know, it's just weird. I finished up like three journals all in the same week. So I just thought that was bizarre. It's and not I'm, about you, Kimball. It's my oh, list. Oh, never mind. It's Kimball's it's Corner. Never mind. Go my on. list. But no, I was just like, I was like, do I order more? I have so many journals, but I really love these ones. Because you went cray cray when they were like discontinuing or like they were getting rid of all the Jane Davenport stuff at Michael's and you were like, I need all 80. I know, but I have a bunch of other ones too that I just had before. True. Because every time they go on sale, I grab like five. Do you feel like a sense of dread as you're running out of journals to fill up? Yes. Um. What else? Oh, my art supplies that I ordered three weeks ago now. Still is not here. I have emailed them twice with no response. I'm not really annoyed. I'm at this point. I'm kind of concerned. I'm like, are they okay? Like, how selfless of you? Well, because the first time I ordered from them came really fast, like no issues at all, super quick, and I had a tracking number. This one, I'm like, I don't have a tracking number. All I'm asking for is a tracking number from them. Like, I'm not like, give my stuff. I'm Karen. But like, <laughs> but like, no, it's. I don't know. Like, I'm not getting any responses or anything. So it's. A little, like, are you okay? Minerva says, finishing the journals is exciting. It is exciting. And I should probably do some journal flips. Like I used to do at the end of, you know, I would, we did journal flips for, geez, at least 12 weeks. Or 20, did I do almost like half a year, didn't I? I don't know how many, I, how many, you had like 18 journals or something to go through. Yeah. And I finished a couple while we were still going through them. Well, you need to build up a few more and then we'll do a flip. Well, I just do like one at the end of, I don't do like a whole video. I just kind of go through it at the end of doing right. art. Oh, I remember. Oh, those, I remember. Those were the good old days. Um, Minerva says, do you think the name of Karen comes from Karen Walker? I don't know. I, I feel like Karen though. would never say like, where's your manager? I feel like she would just like, she owns the building and gets the manager fired without saying anything. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure though. But I do remember that, like, wasn't it Kate plus eight? It was like her haircut was like the Karen haircut. Or everyone yes. associates that with it. Amanda Ryan says, evening, Kimball and Rocky. I've not even started on my new journal. I'm on it tomorrow afternoon. Football is on here, but would rather be watching your channel. Oh, well, that's very sweet. Thanks. And how exciting to be starting a new journal. Are you, are you, or has anyone like, do you all have like that fear of the first page kind of thing? I definitely don't. I just splat some inks down. I'm like, over it. <laughs> the page is done. There's color. <laughs> um, Arts Family Art says, um, is someone eating cake? Um, I'm not. I'm eating chocolate. Rocky, you want a chocolate? If there's a good one, then yes. Uh, well, I'll eat this one. Actually, no, I shouldn't. I should have dinner after this. I already had two, like... It's a tiny little chocolate chocolate. Get over it. Okay, fine. Ooh, so there's no repeats. Mm -mm. Um... 
Specky Lou Cream, huh? Mm -hmm. One second. Um, dark with lime mousse. I want that one. Can, dark. You, can I have the one with stripes on it, pretty please? That Thank one. you. Yes. This one has lime mousse. You would not be able to tell by looking at it, but let's open it up and see. So her collar is kind of a gray color. Let's. Limey. Oh, listen. You listen. No, you do it. We'll just use this color, whatever it is. Elaine says I'm cheating by watching both Kimball and the football. Ooh, you fancy. I can't think of two more opposite things to watch at the same time. Well, if it's like um, like soccer football, then I enjoy that. I do too. I'm a very big fan of the slow motion re replays. And the outfits. Mm -hmm. I actually wanted to play soccer when I was a kid, like in the U.S., and my parents were like, no. And I was all fine. And then I went to my friend's, like, soccer practice. I was like, oh, my God, you're running, like, 20 miles in, like, four hours. I don't want to do this. I'm glad. Thanks, Mom, Dad. I used to go with my sister. She used to go to, um, she was in soccer. And we used to go, what was that school? It was on the North End, and we grew up in Boise, Idaho. Anyway, we'd go, and, like, we'd always sit at her games. I can't remember what the name of the place was. Anyway, I used to go play all, like, and do anything but watch the game, basically. I would go, like, just exploring and stuff. Sorry, sister. I didn't care. Although, <laughs> my sister did do clogging lessons as well. And whenever we went and watched the clogging, I was pretty enamored by the clogging. I mean, who wouldn't be? I mean, talk about multi-talented. And gymnastics. Under. Get out of here. That's another thing. I was in gymnastics for a very short while. And I wanted to stay in it. But my parents had, you know, six kids. Were you at Wings Gymnastics? Yep. How did we not meet each other? I just don't understand. You were probably in the advanced class. I was I was just doing like somersaults. Yeah, well, I was just doing rolling down the triangle mat. <laughs> yeah, well, but you also went to Wild Waters a few times too, which was like the water oh. park. I just don't understand how we never met each other. Yeah, but I only went because I had to babysit. I did not take my shirt off as a child. Right, you didn't know Cody. What? The guy I had a crush on, Cody. I oh. was like... The, I don't know, it was like in a grade even higher than my sister's. So? It was like the only reason I wanted to hang out with my sister's group is because Cody was there. <laughs> Good old Cody. <laughs> Just kidding. Are you there? <laughs> okay, really. okay, well, make up your mind. Okay, we're pretty I was super clean. You know, my sister actually. I was like, I don't have any friends. I'm hanging around you. And she's like, get away. I have my friends here. Yeah, that's true. And I was like, can you only put suntan lotion on? And then you like met me and she's like, we can hang out with him. He can sit with us. <laughs> I never got to, in gymnastics, I never got to go in the big foam pit. You know, like the huge one. That was like the only reason I joined. I was like, oh, I can go play in the giant foam pit? But no, it's all lies. Your life is terrible. Mm -hmm. No, no, that was creamy like tiramisu. Okay. Remember, rage mode, Kimball. <gasps> no, I mean, Snow White. She's going into rage mode. <gasps> make okay. Her, make her special. No, she's just kind of like, what the hell is that noise in these woods where I'm probably going to get kidnapped? So, let's start doing some shading. <laughs> JD Lyon says, I was a roly-poly. Me too. Shout out to the roly-polies. There's like a time when painting where, like you have to, I'm so used to relying on line work for my art, because I, you know, did lots of comic book stuff growing up. And it's like, I have to slowly kick over to relying on the shading and depth and colors and no longer the line work. And that's like the scary part for me. Just thought I would share that. Oh my God, are you feeling vulnerable? Leave me alone. Are you gonna be okay? Yeah. All right. Cause I have the better pillow apparently. Every morning, I usually get up like a couple hours before Rocky and he apparently likes my pillow. I do, because it smells like delicious vanilla cookies, so of course, and it's softer than mine, so of course I'm going to stink it up with my coal, like, coal tar hair cream. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Every time my hair touches Kimball's pillow, he's like, uh-uh, <laughs> get, get on my off, pillow. get off. I don't Other need, than that, we're very romantic. I don't need that stink in my nose while I'm sleeping. <laughs> Um, VD Layden says, we went to a steakhouse for her birthday. It was the best. Ooh, lovely. I, I love mean, a good steakhouse. I love a baked potato from a steakhouse. Anyone? Or mashed potatoes? Mm. <laughs> mm. Mashed potatoes aren't really a thing here. 
as far as I've seen so far, anyway. Tell me if I'm wrong. I mean, I've seen lots of jacket potatoes. Well, they have like mashed potato at like the store. Yeah, but like restaurants, I haven't seen any. Oh, well, my life's hard. I mean, we don't really go to restaurants, though. Are you kidding? Okay, well, well are they gonna have mashed potatoes at the Thai restaurant? Well, what about like Rococo? Yeah, but that's not like a sit down. I don't know. To me, that's not like a, that's more like a diner vibe. Nervous says, love you all. I'm going to wrap a few presents with mom. Bye, love you. Okay, bye. bye. Love to mom. Have a great birthday. You're old now. You'll always be older than us. But our backs hurt. <laughs> it's all that labor I go through. It's that manual labor. Right now, it looks like she spent like 15 extra minutes at the tanning booth. Well, it's because there's a white background. Or like white, you know. I have to get rid of all this white space. <clears throat> or at least dull it down. I don't know. I don't really like using the white gouache because it kind of dulls the colors, but it's so helpful. Mm -hmm. I know, right? Grab a darker shade, but I still want it to be kind of reddish. Well, that's very brown because it had yellow on top. Whoops. A little jaundice. <laughs> it's fine. I'll just go over it with this. Ooh, Jenna says, I picked some bok choy from the garden today. Oh, you fancy. That's exciting. Growing your own bok choy? And she's like, I didn't grow it. It's just there. I'd still eat it. That would be really good in a stew or like a stir fry. I always put it in my... I mean, I shared my recipe last week of my Korean stew that I make up. I used to put it in there a lot when we lived in Baltimore. I just like bok choy because of the name. Okay. Bok choy. I mean, it's good enough reason to like something, I suppose. I know. This is very bizarre. We, like, let's get like 15% more energy, Kimball. Well, I was just going to say, it's very bizarre that like, I, uh, oh, I'm not using like all the different colors that I normally do. I'm going to save that for a little, <laughs> what? Elaine says, I think mash is considered cheap. <laughs> not something you'd want when eating out. It would be on a kid's menu with sausages. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, that's funny. I love mashed potatoes. He does. Planning with John says, if you want mashed potatoes, order shepherd's pie. Okay. I know. But sometimes I just want like a nice, like buttery stack of mash. I don't know. Call me crazy. I did come from Idaho and Idaho is the potato state. If you didn't know that. Also, he just really likes potatoes. Yeah, that too. She totally looks like a clown, but I'm hoping that the white will settle in a little. No, it's just... That's your style now. Is it? Is that Lobs of white. That's what I'm going for. I mean, looks good, right? All right. We still have colored pencils after this, too. I so know. Oh, my gosh. And I guess I can add some white to her, like the whites of her eyes. Mostly just to help start covering up those lines. Although I do kind of like seeing the sketch poke through. I'm not going to lie. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, let's, I think I'm going to darken the hair around her face. But then, keep, well, I'm going to give it a quick dry just so it doesn't bleed if there's anything wet. Oh, Trisha says they call um, mashed potatoes, they might call them crushed potato. Oh. Interesting. Um, FNF Bonnie says it's, or sorry, Ed? Eddie. Says as part of my college work, we have to work behind, we have to work behind front of house and kitchen. Yes, where we serve a lot of mashed potatoes. I swear, my college is obsessed with it. <laughs> and then VD Layden says um, she would eat a potato raw by a candle. Oh my god! <laughs> and then Catherine says, "Hi guys and hi. everyone. I'm outside with the feral kitties, so I'm late again. Ooh, fun though. Oh my god! Hi feral kitties. Aren't they just the sweetest?" Some of them um, really are, and some of them are like, oh my god. Elaine says, goal one to zero England. Yay! Who's playing? What What are they playing? Is it the is it the, the soccer? Is it the football? Is it the sports ball? Yes. Sacrilege! Is, is South Korea still in? Because I thought they lost, and then I saw this thing that like they were all super excited. So I was like, wait. What? South Korea. You've been tracking? No. It was um, an invasion of my Facebook. Trisha says Duchess potato is mashed piped into a fancy shape. 
Oh, that, I mean, that sounds delicious. I better get like a little crispy bits if you put it like in the oven. You can make them in like little pasta shapes and bake them. I mean, I was just thinking of also like... Also known as fries. <laughs> <laughs> I do love fries. I love how like whenever you look oh, up... I love fries. <laughs> whenever you look up an air fryer, it just shows like a basket of fries. I was like, I should try that. And now I get it because I'm eating bags of fries now in my air fryer. And then we watched some video about how like eating bags of fries from air fryers are going to give you cancer because it cooks the potatoes too hot if you do no, cook them too hot. Whatever. I don't cook them too hot though. Well, if you cook them at 180, that's too hot. I cook them at 160. Don't cook your potatoes at 180 in the air fryer or you're all going to die. That's what I heard from a video that I saw on Facebook. So it has to be true. I believe it. All right. Let's do this red background. Um, Elaine says, yes, soccer. And yes, South Korea are still in. Interesting. I'm really I'm curious. Not so who's actually like in the lead for the soccer? Um, well, if we hear loud screaming of disgust, we know that England's not in. Well, I saw a I, video of somewhere. I, I don't know where that. it was. I think it was somewhere in England. And all the people started throwing their drinks because yes. they were so upset at someone's play. And I was like, this is why I will not go to an establishment and watch a sports game. <laughs> and that's just why I don't like sports in general. It's because like most times, like just a lot of crazy fanatic fans kind of just even when it. the team wins, like we used to live in LA and Philadelphia. And like, even if the team won riots would still break out. Yeah. Like at one point Philadelphia won the Super Bowl, and then it ended up like everyone came out in the streets and was celebrating so hard. They like flipped cars over. They were like ruining all the street signs. I was like, it could have been like this joyous moment where the whole community came together, but no, they're like, let's destroy some crap. Yeah. I wonder if that's why it just turned me off from sports as a kid. I, I just, just, it's the whole like I mean, not, manly energy. I can't like. Get yeah, I was gonna behind. say it wasn't know. so much like that extent as a child, but like. Just like, I'm people getting about... so angry when like no like their team didn't win, or just like even in like local like sports. Anything in life that you place stakes on that high to me, for me personally, I can't get behind. Like I just can't. Yeah. Unless it's 17 and then don't talk to me. Well, I mean, <laughs> you always bet on 17 because they are going places. I'm very excited for them and their comeback for next year. It's so weird it's called a comeback. And I'm like, y'all just dropped an album like six weeks in, or six months ago. Plenty with John says, are potatoes fried in oil hotter than that question mark? That is a good question. And they did answer that question by doing this, some scientific tests. And there was some specific chemical that they were looking for in the potatoes that happens when you air fry it versus when you deep fry it. So when you deep fry it, they were like, there's eight parts per million. And when you did the air fryer, there was like, 3,000 parts per million or something. So they they were just talking about how the, for this one specific chemical, air frying was not as good unless you air fried on a lower temperature, but whatever. It's like, who knows? Everything's going to kill you somehow. We're all getting eaten alive from the inside out. What are we going to do? Enjoy life. That's right. I mean, nailed it. My back hurts. <laughs> Why does my back hurt? Give me another chocolate. I'll deal with my back pain later. All right. Elaine says, football is our national sport. Very passionate about it. Which I admire. I wish I could be that passionate about sports. I really do. I just wish people didn't get crazy about it. Mm. I mean, passion, sure. Can you imagine if I finished a painting and was like, yeah, and like chucked my desk across the room? <laughs> like, like, what would that, like... I think I'm, we might have a problem. I mean, I'm passionate about painting, but got to draw the line somewhere or you don't whatever uh, eddie says rocky kimball i wrote five pages on perimeter area volume and area of a circle and triangle in two days straight i told my catering teacher and she said that's sad that, <laughs> yeah i don't like that that's no fun Trisha says, some artists do that, Kimball. <laughs> they just chuck all their art supplies. They sweep them off the desk. I mean, I guess everything has its place. BD Leiden says, you're very passionate about games, I hear. Oh, yes, I can be. Not me. I'm like, what? I lost again? I hate this game. We're done. Mm -hmm. Catherine says, my family is nuts about football, um, but it bores me silly. I like basketball, though. 
I really like basketball until I went to a live game. And then I realized that like when you hear the sneaker sound, mm. it's so loud in person that like all, all I can do is keep cringing every time I hear it, which is like every half a second. So like the whole game, I'm just like twitch, 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 I think twitch, I like, twitch. <clears throat> I think I like playing sports more than I do watching. Mm-hmm. When it's just like a fun game, I don't really get into the super aggressive we need to win games but i know who's not in for a good game of course mm-hmm. i know right but i just as a kid i had to go to some of my sister's basketball games and it would last like four hours the thing i really like about like soccer, was i done yes okay so the thing i really like about soccer is like i feel like especially for families i feel like it's a good like reason for families to come together and like like root for something or even like not root for something together so i really like that aspect root or too. not root <laughs> Like, even when, like, the Super Bowl happens, like, even, like, I'm not really into the Super Bowl, but, like, it was always a good reason for, like, friends to get together and, like, watch something and, like, watch the commercials and do that stuff, too. So, I I really like that aspect of it. Just anything that, like, brings people together. There's just certain elements of it I can't, like, I don't know why. I judge. I do, too, but I'm sure there's tons of things that I like that people don't, and I don't care. Right, exactly. Everyone's different. Different strokes for different folks, huh? I mean, why not? There. Her eyes are done. Absolutely. And that's the rage mode we're talking about. I mean, it went on a little thick. BD Layden says, I'm going to start playing hockey again. Now, is this street hockey or like ice hockey? What are we talking here? I remember my brothers all had rollerblades and they'd play street hockey. And they're like, come on, Campbell, let's go play. I'm like, okay, cool. And I'd have to like run. And I was tired. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering where this story was going. And that seems like, a fitting, that seems like a fitting Just... ending. And then I had to run and I was tired. I'm the like, end. Well, I mean, you keep up with people that actually know how to rollerblade. Look, this isn't going the way I thought it was going to. Speaking of rollerblading. I'll just do the colored pencil. One of my funniest memories with uh, rollerblades. Of Minerva? Yeah. My sister, we were at like the church at the end of the street, which was like a Jehovah's Witness church. And I was there with my friend, like Nick and a couple other friends, whatever. And we were, had a bike and we were t- we tied like a skateboard to the end of it on a long rope and we're like riding it around and seeing if we can get to crash into things, whatever. Fun. Why didn't we hang so out? So my sister came up to us at one point. She like rollerbladed from our house, which was three blocks away. And she was standing there. We were talking and she said something along the lines and a really like, like snotty voice best. of like, I am the best rollerblader in the entire world. And like right <laughs> after she said that, it was like, Instant the karma. wind took her feet out from under her and just swooped them up. Like, so her body was like parallel with the earth and then her body just fell flat. And I was like, what is happening? I laughed so hard. I mean, I was of course worried about her, but you know, not that worried when she was fine. It was funny. Mm-hmm. The end. And then I had to run and I was tired. <laughs> That's how all my stories are going to end from now on. <laughs> Well, that will always be a good story then. So that's that's your lesson for the day. Don't be snotty when you're on rollerblades. You never know when, you know, the universe is just going to sweep your leg. I don't even think rollerblades are really a thing anymore. I think everyone's on like those one-wheeled things or like this electric scooters. Elaine says two to zero. Ooh. Who are they playing again? Uh, I don't know. Planning what John says. Karma. <laughs> Very much so. Karma's a funny biatch. <laughs> <laughs> Makes me laugh, unless it happens to me. Well, I shouldn't have done to, that then. Well, I try to be shouldn't a very good person because I don't want no karma coming at me. Do you ever like think when you're about to do something bad, you're like, oh, I shouldn't do this because of karma? Well, I don't. You only don't do bad things because you don't want bad things to happen to you. I mean, I just don't do bad things because. Because you're a good person. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. that way I know I can always be honest and be like, no, I didn't do that. Elaine says they are playing Senegal. Ooh. Like Steve Sen. Senegal? But close. Sen- so what's his name? Steven Seagal. Seagal. Steve Seagal. What if the, like, the English team was playing just Steven Seagal? I, I mean... It would make the 2-0 to zero less exciting, but still. I would definitely tune into that game if it was all against Steven Seagal. <laughs> I mean, I might. I might just have you fill me in. Just adding a little bit of a shadow there. A little bit of a shadow. Oh, it picked up a lot of skin tone. That's fine. A little shadow just... Back there. Because there's like no shading on the picture I'm working off of, so I'm kind of just making it up. And he says, my parents are watching the football and it sounds like (laughs) they're having a massive party with the three of them. It sounds like there's a hundred (laughs) people. 
I mean. And then they retracted the message, but I already said it out loud. So that doesn't really help. <laughs> Why was the message retract? Oh, they did? Yeah. Um, Elaine says, halftime now. Do they have good halftime shows? Like, what's the halftime situation? Are there puppies? Who was, the, was Does there? Does Madonna come out? Wasn't it and a K-pop English accent? guy that did the opening for the thingy? A K-pop guy? Singer? Was it from BTS? I could not tell you. But I'm pretty sure it was K-pop singer. Oh, Fnipine says there was a spelling mistake. Mm. My apologies. We don't apologize for um, poor grammar or spelling mistakes on this channel. Yeah, yeah. Because we live by those. Basically. You know what really bothers me, though? Every time I'm reading, like, a message back after I've already hit send and I realize I spelled the word your wrong, even though I'm fully aware of the three different ways to spell the word your. Yeah. There's also, there's, like, kind of, like, more than that. Are there? I don't know. How are you going to spell it? Well, there's your, Y-O-U-R. And then there's like U-R, which is Y-O-U apostrophe R-E. And then, well, I guess there's just two then. Well, then there's like. And then there, 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 there. Y-O-R-E. Oh, your, But yes. it's not in the But same. how often do you use that? Every day. Days of your. Elaine says, not usually a halftime show. Hmm. What do they do for fun? I love this red color, by the way. I like that you had to point it out. Like there's so many different reds on the page. <laughs> <laughs> um, Elaine says just music pumped in. Hmm. How long is the halftime like there? Is it pretty quick if there's no show? Do you really care? Or are you just asking to fill the space? Kendall? Kind of both. Okay. I mean, I don't watch it, so I don't know. Because I always think like, oh, football halftime show. You know, it's like a whole event unto itself. John, John, planning with John says they drink beer. That makes sense. Um, Jenna says, in your emails, are you using American spellings of words or have you switched? Um, I switch for work because my keyboards automatically tell me everything I spell wrong now. I know the word flavor is like F-L-O-U oh, yeah. just because like there are words that I spell a lot with like copywriting and stuff like that. I know what I need to do. But um, and a lot of that comes too from like Canada because Canada has similar spellings, which I've been working with for like four years now. So, but like things like, uh, what, what are some of the words? Um, like check. A lot of the words that like have like Z in them get switched to an S instead. Oh, like organize. Organize. And yeah. Like those types of words. Um, so um, those ones I'm having a hard, harder time getting on board with. I mean, I don't think you have to use the word check, but that's what the Q U here. Entire is T-Y-R-E. Yes. That I have a hard time as well. Yeah. I just, hard. I just spell it the way I always do. And then people are like, oh, okay, I get you. You're American. Finding what John says, you can just call me John. All right. Hi, John. Hey, John. Um, oh, Eddie says, you guys are talking about homophones, words that sound the same but spell different. I thought he was, I thought you were saying homophobes for a minute. I was like, wait, homo homophones? I'm like, homophobes, I don't think that would homophobes. enter the conversation. <laughs> Um, and then John says, practice or practice? Practice. Did I ever tell the story about Mr. Totorica and the story he told us about the girl that didn't know English <laughs> and was trying to do like, sing mm. that song like, potato, you potato. say potato, I say potato. And he was know. like teaching her the song, but he just taught her to say like. Because he was a smart ass. <laughs> yeah. So he was just making a joke and he just taught her to say potato, 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 like tomato, she, tomato. Wasn't she like a professional like opera singer or something? Something like that. Anyway, so she went through this whole song like fully in character, like you say potato, I say potato, <laughs> you say tomato, I say tomato, potato, potato. Anyway, so that's a fun story. It is. <laughs> It's not, it's not as funny as the one where he was in choir and there was a girl in front of him that was just, she was kind of not the nicest person. So while they were singing, I think they were singing at a Capitol building or something or in a cathedral or something. And he like reached his hand forward and like undid her bra strap through her robe. <laughs> oh my God. I'm like, it's so mean. Um, okay, hold on real Eddie quick. says, I'm going to go get some cheese on toast. Good luck with mm, the art. Yum. I hope you have a lovely week. Oh, thank you. You too. Thanks, Eddie. Bye. Well, I'm just about to dive into the colored pencil portion of this evening's. Oh, that's where it's getting really exciting. You're going to miss Eddie. You're but then I will come back in later with some of these for some finishing touches. Yes. Good job. Why is one of them wrapped in red foil? Can we just talk about that? You can. What's with the hat? Oh, dark the cherry liqueur. All right, moving oh, on. 
Just kidding. I love his hat and his sense of fashion. I love the ruffled sleeves. It's great. Well, now I know what to get you for Christmas. That'll be really good for doing any kind of like work related things. Like they definitely won't be in the way. Uh, absolutely. Building furniture, yeah. ruffled sleeves. Need a good dry. Otherwise it'll tear the paper. It won't tear through, but it'll definitely rough it up. This is very thick paper. Loving it. So, uh, you and mock boyfriends. <laughs> Hello, Coco Peru. Hello. If you don't know who Coco Peru is, raise your hand in the comments. <laughs> Ow, I just like moved my hand down to pull my leg up and it made my like funny bone twitch. That's what you get for trying to get a leg up. Is that what happens when you're 40? Sometimes. All right, let's bring in these colored pencils that I've already been using. I'll try and keep them on the paper or the my little towel raggy thing right here so they're quieter. And let's start. She has very ugly, not it's not like the prettiest toned skin. It's like in the picture. She has kind of dull, lifeless skin. <laughs> <laughs> and uh Orangey oh cheeks. I went more the peach route. Sorry for the fart noise. It's my phone, I swear. All right. So I'm hoping it's dry enough. John says, That's not dark. Tension enough. Tamer Tea by Celestial Seasons. Tension Tamer Tea by Celestial Seasons. Is what? I'm not sure. It's just the comment that's there. Oh, wait, what were we talking about? I'm all about it. Tension Tamer Tea by Celestial Seasons. Oh my God, I was dying. I was watching Mira Byler and she was doing like an anti-stress, anti-anxiety <laughs> coloring book. And just like five minutes into it, she's like, there's a mistake. They didn't finish this. They didn't finish. I was like, oh my God, that is so me. And then she was flipping through the book and she realized that a lot of the pages were just like other, the Blown same up pages images. from other things. And they just like zoomed into them a bunch. Yeah, I'm definitely not a fan of those kind of coloring books. Oh, John says Coco Peru. Ah, hello. Tension Tamer Tea by Celestial Seasons. Um, Elaine Rose Ham does not know Coco Peru's. Can you please explain? Drag queen. <laughs> what? Somewhat famous drag queen who's been in many different things, including like uh, what were some of the earlier movies. Trick. Well, there is a movie Girls called Will Girls. Girls Will Be Girls. Which, Watch at your own risk. I mean, I think it's hilarious, but yes, it's not for everybody. And what else? Um, um, there's a new show on... Uh, she, were, she was on Will and Grace, too. Yeah, there's a new show on Netflix called... I think it's called Dead End. Dead, it's like the... It's Coco Pruna new show? It's a cartoon. She voices oh, like the main yes. villainess. She's the lady. one from that, like, the gay cartoon on Netflix, right? She's... Oh, never mind. I'm thinking of the wrong thing. Okay. Either way. Well, anyway. Yeah, she's in the cartoon. Great. It's very good. I have like too many oranges. I don't have like the right shade of like a brown. I'm too lazy to like go through and pull colors out. So I'm just trying to deal with what I have. John says there's a video of her searching for tension tamer tea and all she can find is sleepy time tea. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Rocky's sister and I went on a walk. Like we used to go hiking in the Portland mountains a lot. She took smooth move tea before going and she didn't tell me like I asked her if she wanted to go for a walk she's like yeah sure let I'm me just have some me. tea real quick yeah I was so, with you guys I remember you this. weren't there I was there you were not there I was there you were not there no you were that's when we went up in the hills and she went into a construction porta potty oh what story are you talking about this how was, many times did she crap her pants on the trail what's happening yeah so we went uh <laughs> we get we weren't even on the trail yet and she's like Kimball I'm gonna crap my pants right now I was like, um, <laughs> this is a problem. How many times have I heard that? <laughs> I'm like, this is a problem. Let's let's go to my friend Joelle's house. It's right there. She's like, I I can't. It's going to be so loud. And I was like, oh, my God. What do you want me to do about this? <laughs> I was like, why don't you go to the house? She's like, I had smooth move tea. I was like, oh, my God. That stuff is like, it's a laxative tea. And it does what it says on the Very bottle. quickly and like without warning. So it's not like a slow buildup. It's like. Knock, knock, knock out <laughs> heaven's down. Yeah, so we, uh, oh my God. So we're at the trailhead and she she ran to the bathrooms it. and the bathrooms were locked. It was in the lower McClay Park. And she just turns at me like with this look of desperate desperation and despair. And I was like, honey, I don't know what to do. And I was like, oh, behind you, there's a, a porta potty. So they put a porta potty there for people to use. So she's like, 
instant like smile smiling with her eyes and everything runs over the doors open she gets in she does her business i can hear it from the car a good 15 no maybe like 10 yards away it's like a it's like a little bass sound in the background i'm like oh my god my poor child and then was I start, she hovering or did oh, she fully sit i don't know because i turn and look and there's maybe like six people standing at the porta potty waiting to go in <laughs> and i was like oh my god so i like ducked down in the car i was like i don't know her and, I, <laughs> and like she came out like she opened the door and she's like what and she like ran to the car we took off but she's like how long were they there i was like i don't know i didn't even notice them good lord three years ago we went to italy with my sister we were traveling through the cinque terra and we were we pulled over on the side of the road because she really had to use the restroom and she oh like went God. behind what she thought was a bush, which was she, really just y'all, she stuck her butt out literally in the road. Like <laughs> <laughs> but she was faced the other way, and all these cars were just going by looking at her do her business the entire time. I was dying. I took pictures and filmed it. Of course, I we mean, didn't tell her what was happening, but well, she had to go. So like she was gonna stop. Oh my gosh, the memories. I mean I will hold it until I die. And like, then we ended up going to Geneva right after that. And that evening after we checked in, she was like, I don't know uh, why she was pretending to vomit. She, but was, she like, was like, trying well, to like, she never sitting on the bed. We're like, no, nah, 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 like just making stupid noises. And I am not one who can handle bark at all. So she does this like fake. She's like, nah, 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 and then she like threw <laughs> all over the bed. <laughs> and I like jumped up screaming. Rocky's trying to take a nap. I like ran to the kitchen. Oh my god, I was like dying. I was laughing. And she was like laughing because she like was surprised and like, she wasn't <laughs> sick or anything. Oh, it was so gross. I will tell you what, there is no one more entertaining than my sister to be around. Like, oh there my is god. just no one more interesting and entertaining. I am so glad that place had a washer and dryer. Because that is what we did that night. Mm -hmm. Um, I need a yellow golden color. Perfect. Let's add some life to these eyes if we can. Beauty Lady says them. you need to share with me. Share what? Did you take pictures? Oh, of Jamie? Yeah. Uh, I did. They actually might still be on my phone. I like transferred all my stuff onto the computer, but then like... John says, see, that's karma. <laughs> <laughs> sure is. Oh, dude, that poor girl. Mm, love her to death. I feel like I'm not sure how to add the shading to her eyes because they are so big. Also, when I was trying to find a picture of Snow White, like, girl, close your mouth at least once in a while. Like, 95% of the pictures she was, like, singing or her mouth was just, like, open awkwardly. And I was like, were people trying to find, like, funny pauses of her face? Because that's all it looked like. Well, one of the designers in New York, and I think it was Saks Fifth Avenue or somewhere over there. Oh, my God. Near the park. They had, like, their Christmas windows. No, it was, the, Macy, it was the Macy's windows. Macy's, was it? Yeah, it was the Macy's windows display. Okay, well, they had Snow White um, as their main display. So at least three or four of the windows had, like, a Snow White scene. And they had the same Snow White, like, 3D sculpture and all three of them spinning around. And it was the most awkward pose with her mouth like open like oh. with her just spinning around like a whirlwind and all i could think of every time i walked up to the windows was like oh so we made a video of it yes clearly <laughs> it's somewhere let's just shade these eyes they were a little a little bulgy make them look a little round and not the good kind mm -mm. i almost drew louise from Bob's Burgers tonight. Campbell, the Mario trailer, how do you feel? Like, it looks really good. I don't like Chris Pratt's voice, and I don't know if it's going to change or not. But it what looks, is it you don't like I, about Chris Pratt's voice? It doesn't suit Mario. Mm. Like, I just. Would oh, you rather have, purple, like, the guy but... who does the Mario, like, it's a me, Mario? Or See, it's hard because that's, like, Mario doesn't really talk. Right. So it's like he couldn't do a full movie. Right, so like, weird. like, what would his movie, like, you know, he couldn't talk like that the whole time, right? I don't, I feel like if I had to watch an hour and a half of, like, actual Mario voice talking, I'd be agitated. Right, so, it's like, you gotta kind of draw the line sometimes, but I think, I'm sure there'll be a part where Chris will say it. And then I'd be like, that's the, whoa, there it is! And you'll but, throw yeah. your desk across the room. In rage! In celebration. Just rage, really. This is where we're going to start adding colors because I, I can't just with like the calm color thing happening. I know. When are you going to add the neon orange? Um, It'll be yellow and pink. Okay. 
I don't know why, but like I love adding just like random square like swatches basically of color when I'm done with a painting. Maybe I do it to hide all my mess ups. Would you like to fill the visual empty space? I don't know. Hmm. She's looking all right. And then we ran out of things to talk about. <laughs> Just kind of sit in silence now. Um, I don't know. What else is there to talk about? I don't know. I just saw there's two little spikes on the back of this microphone that like got pushed in the wrong way as part of the manufacturing. Well, so that's I what I'm looking at. That's that sound you're hearing. Um, nice. All right. We're going to... Well, she probably needs a little bit darker eyebrow, but not too dark. We don't want people to know she pencils them in. Well, they're very thing. lopsided. I was watching this thing, and it was The View, which has Whoopi Goldberg on it. And her cohorts were basically saying, I was today years old when I realized that you did not have eyebrows, Whoopi. <laughs> and she's like, yes, correct. And I didn't even realize this about her, but she doesn't have eyebrows. I thought she shaved them off. She had, I don't know what happened, but she does not have, she had like bad psoriasis, I think is what she said. And she ended up shaving them off a long time ago. So they draw them on for like movies and stuff. Mm. But like when she's doing her hosting and stuff like that, she doesn't have them. Where is my? But she looks like she like when you look at her, you don't even think about it. Where is my um paper tester page? I okay. don't know what no. it is. The page where I test my stuff. I just want to see if this is a darker red, so I can not really. Well, maybe I can try. Well, let's see if this is too. Let's try purple. Why not? It's just for the lip line, really. What's the worst that could happen? Absolute death trap. Just want to darken it down. Just a scotch. What is that like? It's <laughs> my leg keeps hitting the... Well, you can shut up over I there. know. I'm so sorry. As long as it's not me, I don't care. All right. Nostrils. You can breathe a little easier. Ah, freshness. Let's try this color. Is this just the wrong color for her? Maybe. But I just want to darken up the underside of the nostrils. I don't want to do all the purples and stuff that I normally do on the face. I think I'm going to just leave that pretty simple. Oh, there. Like maybe I'll add a little bit under here. Just because I was leaning this color a little more purple. Just to add a little cool shadow under the jaw. Elaine says, are they not... Are they just not hidden under her big Star Trek hat? <laughs> also known as the pizza box with the spandex. Oh my God. My friend had like a pizza or a pizza party, a birthday party that was themed Star Trek. And my other friend who went, uh, she went as, is her name Guinan? Yeah. Yeah. And she like had a pizza box and she wrapped it in fabric and wore it. I was like, oh my God, that's the best. I went as Jordy the Forge. That's fitting. I guess. I you're blind. I had like a, a hair visor that I spray painted gold and like mm. had it clipped onto my glasses. I feel like that was the thing because everyone's like, "Oh, well, we have the hair visors. We know what to do." Basically, he. I was watching Lavar Burton who played Georgia the Forge, and he was doing an interview talking about how painful that device was that he had to wear the eye glasses. Yes, he said they had to basic because it had to stay on while they were right. filming, and he said there was so much it was so um tight on his head and it pushed the circle things that they were attached to into his head basically. Yeah. So well, that's annoying. Yeah. Poor Jody. Well, thanks for taking one for the team, Lavar. Butterfly in the sky. <laughs> I heard a remix of that song the other day. It was like an R&B remix. It was, um, someone was doing a rap to it. It was actually interesting. That's good. Oh my God. We were watching this, uh, these two people on YouTube talk about like, they were, uh, they spoke Korean fluently. So they were watching um, 17 songs. They were, cause I mean, you can watch the English in like translations. Translations. Yeah. But it's not really that. There's a difference like, between translation and trans creation. Like, yeah, like, like actually well, it's explaining also like, what it means in that language. Yeah. So they were like talking about, like they were going into details and I was like, this is amazing on the song cheers. It was so good. What they were talking about. Just really appreciated. Like knowing a little extra about them. That's all. I just didn't think about, cause I was just thinking, Oh yeah, it's translated. Cool. I get the gist of it. And then you see people and they're like, no, no, let me tell you what they're really saying here. And it's like, wow, that it just takes the lyrics to a whole new level in a very good way. I know, it's like the things we take for granted. Like here, like we understand everything. Well, kind of. 
You start talking math, I'll be like, what? Well, I mean, anything in English, roughly, like anything like lyrics and stuff like that. Mm, yeah. Although I am, I'm not going to lie, I'm not one of those people that like tries to find hidden meaning and meanings and things. Like I'm very much on the surface. So if you're going to be all like deep about something, you got to let me know. <laughs> like when I watch a movie, I don't like try and guess. I just say it's like everybody. Like we're watching Wednesday and I'm all, oh, it's that person. Oh, that person. Nope, that person. Every time it's a new. put white on her blue. Do you see this? Yes. Okay. Could you fix that? Thanks. Now it's perfect. Just like her. I want to add, is this blue? Is this, is this the blue? The Layden says, reading rainbow or reading Rambo? Oh, yes, both. Snipers in the sky. Oh, my God. We don't go there. I'm going to add loose hairs now. I know she's all perfect, but not my world. When you said loose hairs, I wasn't looking down at the time, and I didn't know where you were adding them. I was like, oh, this can go either way. Well, well that was kind of an ugly one, but we'll deal with it. This is where we start to add the scribbly effects. It was meant to be. We make it look perfect so we can scribble. Just, I think it's more interesting. I'm sure not everybody agrees, but I like it. And I'm gonna darken under here like it's hair in the background. And we can darken down here. Keeping this shading obviously very simple. I'm not gonna like define every hair, every curl. We get it. Okay, she's got a vibe happening. I'm digging it. Might go with this. Do you want the really dark brown? Oof. Oof. oof it's oof. like so dark that's like when you ever yeah. see like a script and it's some like oof is written out and you're like how does that actually read i think you just nailed it well i am a professional also like whenever i read a script and it's like er like er i'm like what what are what is that <laughs> er like who says that somebody a couple of wrinkles in her kp thing okay now she's coming along um, I'm deciding if I want to like add a red line, not or like a nice red line, but like a kind of a scribbly red line around her. I think we do. Oh, it's like red electricity. Ooh, that was bold. That was ambitious. You got to just go for it. But do it right. Yeah. Don't think okay. too much. And now let's get some neons and some yellow. Let's get some neons in here. How's right. that varnish spray going, Kimmel? The one that still has the tape on it. Huh? I think you know. All right. So adding yellow, because yellow warms up anything and everything. It's very subtle, but it is effective. It's a little bit makes you go, hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, we've warmed some things up. Excuse me, circle drawing thing. Oh, there's my paper. Oi. Oh, maybe I'll do some neon. The circle drawing thing here reminds me of like, remember, what were those things called as a kid? And you like put the white thing inside and you like do the circles around it, it makes the weird pattern. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. I don't know. It's like sketches something, sketch graph. A sketch immersion. What was it called? Anyway, if yeah. you guys know what that was called, let Somebody us know in the comments. Does. All right, so, well, mm, mm, mm. Oh, oh, spirograph. Thank you, John. Thank you, Jenna. John knows what's up. Jenna knows what's up. That is very true. Little, pe little peeps of neon, little pops of neon are always fun to do. Did you guys kinda... ever have an Etch-A-Sketch and try to do, like, a super detailed drawing and then, like, one of your siblings comes up and ruins it? Yeah, nope. me neither. Nope. But I did have a light bright. Light bright, light bright. Da, 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 da. Something about turn off the light. I don't know. It was so funny. I was singing Don't Wake Daddy. I don't know if you guys heard that. It's a game. And the other day I was all, Don't Wake Daddy. And Rocky's like, What? <laughs> I was like, What? <laughs> yeah, it's a game. I swear. I was like, What have you been watching? Mm -hmm. Is she? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Oh, that was a gross one. I feel like I had that other chocolate and I got a stomach ache right afterwards. 
Okay. The square blobs. The squabs. That's what I'm doing right now. Keep it simple. I might do... I do have neon yellow, but it's in the other thing, so I'm just going to do this bright yellow, which actually might be neon yellow. I don't know. It's basically a highlighter. Mm. Where, where do I put this? Mm. Peter Layton says, Laverne and Shirley. A show you could watch over and over again because I do enjoy it. Oh my God. The whole thing now is like, I guess on Lindsay Lohan's uh, Hallmark movie, she had like, I think it was uh, Pepsi and Milk. And I think Laverne and Shirley had that. And like, everyone's just like, that's disgusting. Why would you? Pepsi and Milk? Mm -hmm. What do you mean Pepsi? Like in Milk? Introducing a new color. Yeah. Is that a thing? I mean, I it's not foreign to me. I've never had it because I think it's disgusting. But, but it was in Laverne and Shirley. Pretty sure, yeah. Pretty sure that's what it was. Was it Coke and Milk in Laverne and Shirley or was Pepsi a thing back oh then? Oh my God, is there really a difference? They're both things I don't drink. True. She might be done. Oh my word, Kimball. You've really done it this time. Oh, a cute little Snow White. Oh, she's adorable. An hour and 15 minutes later and a lot oh of waffling gosh. on, but we did it. Waffling on. We're really adapting to the language here. Saving those chocolates for tomorrow. Mm. Have little bits and bobs for lunch. Mm. I don't know if you're using that right. Probably not. Here, I gotta take this off the stand. One moment, everyone. All right. We can close these up. These are so cute, though. Hello, like Little Mermaid scales. I know, right? Like, adorable. Goes on autofocus. Let's dry this. Ooh. Let's get all the flakes off my shirt. <laughs> Zoom it out. Zoom it out. I do love this paper too. I think it's, I think it's Paul Rubens sparkly paper, but it's in like a journal, which makes it fantastic. Which I did panic. I had to buy, like I said, I'm almost done with this one. Bear with. I mean, y'all saw it already, but I did had to, I, I did had to buy more. I did had to. So I got a whole pack of this sparkly beautiful paper. Lovely. I might put it in my own journal. I don't know, but. Oh, Kimball. Yes, my love. Another one for the journal. Yep, that's Or accurate. for the fridge. No, nope, journal. <laughs> I'm like, I was all like, wait, that's No, that's I ruined accurate. it. You made it right. And that's why we had your last live was tonight, because I messed it up. My last one? Just kidding. Last live ever. It will. Your lives will Oh my go God, on that's going to happen someday. Then. There's going to be a last one. Yes, thank you. Let's end on that note. And on that note, <laughs> we're all going to die someday. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good job. Hey, how do you feel? Hey, you know, I feel pretty good. I don't know if I should talk to you or them. I feel like I should talk to Talk to them. To them. Hey, Your audience is here. I know, but like, you right asked here. me a question, so it feels rude not to look at you. Right? I, but so, I'm like right here oh. in line with the camera anyway. Well, but you're looking that way. Here, so I'll put, how's that? Okay, Cyclops. <laughs> okay, I like, I'm like Jordy LaForge, but instead of the eye visor, I have the camera. Are you, though? I don't think you're that cool. I, just, I don't know if you're on screen or not. All right. I can see myself. What do you want to say? So many things. I would like to thank God and my country and my friends and family. <laughs> this award means so much to me. No, you're not getting an award. Rude. I would just like to say thank you all for hanging out with us because it's fun and I enjoy it and I hope you do too. And if you do, like and subscribe for such quality content such as this and ring that bell for whatever reason. Probably, you know, it seems bell. like if you like and subscribe to somebody, you shouldn't have to hit the notification bell. We don't even know what it does. It notifies I think, people. But like when you like something, does it really help? We don't know. Everyone just says it. So we do too. <sighs> We're not really leaders in the YouTube space. <laughs> uh, it was kind of cute though. Cause the um, ladies that we were chatting with and, they looked at my page and like, oh, you have over 2,000 subscribers. And I was like, yeah, it's like a lot of fun. You know, I mean, it's like, it's not like a huge number, but it's a great number. And they're like, are you kidding? That's like internet famous. And I was like, mm, okay, <laughs> oh, I'm not, mm, probably not, but it's a good number. It's a good size. I swear if it ever, if my channel ever blew up, I think I would have a little mild panic attack. So, so yeah, make it blow up, everyone, so we can see Kim having panic attacks. That'd be uh, great. No, thank you. The day 200 people join your live, you're going to, like, freak out. I don't even know what you're going to do. The day 200 people? Yeah. 
Like in one day? Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot. Well, not this week. This week I've had like ten people like unsubscribe. I'm all. Well, that's because of your poor attitude. I know, my piss poor attitude. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. Cheers to another fun live with everyone. All Thank right. you guys very much for joining. I would just laugh if there was nobody here anymore. They're like, okay, wow. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> all right. Thanks, you guys. And yeah, we'll see you next week. Oh, should we do a stencily color book, stencils, stamps, stencils, stencils? Should we do stencils? <laughs> what are you looking at? What are we looking for? Let's find stencils. it together. Um, I could like take a stencil and try and make it into a popular character. That yes, could be fun. That's that a sounds challenge. great. I'll just. Jenna said your mug is cute. Thank you. Where was it from? This one, I believe, was from Home Sense. It's like the UK's version of Home Goods. But I like Home Goods better. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I don't know. They it's they got different things, so it's like hit and miss. Because here, they I like the lampshades better. They didn't have lampshades at Home Goods really. They have lamps. They have so. cool furniture here too, actually. Yeah. All right, we're done with that. Sign All off, right. music, go. I just like to say that I love you all. You're so wonderful. Then we'll see you next Sunday when we probably do a stand song. And then can you end with like a little like Snow White at the beginning like sound like whatever she would be singing? Yeah. <laughs> Bye everybody. <laughs>